We in the north. What up, everybody? It's Evan Marshall, COO of Black Men's Road. We out here in beautiful Toronto, Canada, also known as TDOT. Today, we actually gonna check out Project TDOT, which is the history of hip hop shots and photography of the amazing photographer, Johnny Charles. Let's go check it out. Shout out to Black Menswear. My name is Johnny Charles. I'm a Toronto-based photographer and mental health advocate. We're here at Project TDOT at Toronto City Hall. Project TDOT is my documentary project on Toronto's hip-hop history, culture, and community. I've been producing Project TDOT since 2006, and this exhibit of black and white photographs is Toronto's intro to Project TDOT. Yeah, so this is Toronto's introduction to Project TDOT. Uh, Project TDOT is my document project on Toronto's hip hop history, community and culture. And it has different elements. The black and white photographs are the core of Project TDOT. Um, but some of the other elements include a black and white copy table book that will tell the story of Toronto hip hop and the individuals that have contributed to it. There's also going to be a video based documentary uh, shot in the same aesthetic as this, so black and white as well. Uh, my vision for the exhibits is to have them tour the world and to also include a panel that explains Toronto's hip-hop culture to other major cities, hip-hop meccas around the world like New York, Chicago, Shanghai, uh, Rio, etc. Um, and I also plan on producing a Project T.Dot nonprofit that will teach marginalized youth in Toronto how to monetize their hip hop skills and talents, how to make a living from hip hop culture. God, and I'm very grateful to have uh, installed this, this massive exhibit um, on Tuesday, April 19th, and it's been up for about five months now. It was extended, it was supposed to end on July 19th, and I'm super grateful that it's still going until this coming Monday. <laughs> How, what would you say your, was your personal role uh, in the birth of Toronto hip hop scene? My role within Toronto's hip hop scene, hip hop community at this point is as a docu documentarian to tell the story of the individuals that have contributed to the scene, the organizations that have contributed to the scene. Um, because both in Toronto and internationally, um, a lot of individuals and organizations have not been given their due credit for what they've contributed to Toronto hip hop. Um, there's a lot that the average Torontonian doesn't know about Toronto's hip hop community or how much Toronto's hip hop community has contributed to Toronto and Canada as a whole. So I plan on telling those stories and bringing them to um, the, the limelight, so to speak. Okay. So obviously in the wall, you mentioned Melanie Fiona, you got Drake, you got Forty, yeah. uh, you got Carnal Fischial. Who are some of the other people that we have on this wall? Yeah, we have my, my friend, colleague, and mentor, Julian Christian Lutz. Uh, he goes by the name Director X. His mentor is Hype Williams. He's definitely the most uh, prolific music video director in uh, Canadian history uh, by far. Um, and there's so many amazing people that may not be well known to Americans, um, such as Organic. He's the co-founder of King of the Dot, which is the most well-known rap battle league in Canadian history. Uh, Drake's OVO used to sponsor King of the Dot, and Drake's a big fan of Organic and King of the Dot. Uh, you have Socrates here, who's, a, who's an incredible musician, uh, a singer, songwriter, producer, engineer, and rapper who strongly influenced Drake and his engineer, Forty. Um, we have DJ Respect, my good friend DJ Respect here. Uh, he goes by the, his legal name is Chez Mera, and many people don't know that he was Drake's first DJ. How did you uh, get the city and the government behind you to support it? Uh, my longtime colleague, Laura Metcalf, she's an executive at uh, the city of Toronto, and she introduced me to Artworks TO, which is the public artworks division of the city. Um, they asked me if I had a series of images that would be appropriate for City Hall. I showed them Project TDOT and they were immediately sold on it. And after it was installed, everyone started buying into it. Politicians, different organizations, all of the uh, major news platforms in Canada. So I went from having this project rejected for 15 years straight to everybody buying into it. I just want to thank you for taking us through this Absolutely. wonderful Project T.Dot experience. You've really documented history, not in terms of just music, but 
cultural history. And that's what it's about, especially whether it's Chicago, the US, Paris, Toronto, the globe, we are connecting the culture, connecting diaspora across the world. So people like you are moving the culture forward, so we thank you for that. Yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, shout out to Chicago and so many other major cities in America for influencing us in Toronto and for uh, passing on the hip hop torch to us to express in our own way.